Welcome back. Day two out here, we still just have the one shed. We iodined some water. We're about ready to go pick up those ones that we glassed up yesterday. So hopefully we can get up there and it's a good time. Okay, things are looking up for us. I just glassed up a side-by-side -side set of deer sheds and then a coos deer shed and I can see the elk horn I glassed yesterday. All in the same canyon and lichens looks like a good elk shed. So we're excited to go get it. Looks good. It's a long way. So that's sweet. I'm going to get my camera set up and I'll take a video of that and a video of the other one. Just throw it in here for you guys. But things are looking up for us finally. But tonight might suck. So. <laughs> you get rained on. Yeah. You have any other words of wisdom? Hide. Hide. From the rain. From the rain and snow. But sweet. We'll let you know when we have our sheds. Right there we've got a side by side of mule deer sheds. Maybe a giant coos. <laughs> <laughs> could be but and then i gotta show you mine and lincoln's we are glassing up crazy shit. okay right there on by that mahogany there's that shed so that's pretty sweet you can kind of see it there i don't know if that's a coos or a mule deer yet we're gonna go find out right there clear the crap over there you can kind of see how white it is one, two, right three, in the middle of the screen four, right there, right there. But that's what one, two, three, four, five, six horns now. So we're gonna go. Okay. You can see tines. Looks like a mule deer side by side set. Not a bad buck actually. A couple of years old. It's just a three, three on that side. Not a bad buck at all. It's the biggest buck I've ever found in here. Still have potential for a coos deer shed over stuff, but I'll get this hand to Lakin. Okay, Lakin's gonna video me picking these up. It's honestly not a bad meal deer. Ah, oh, I wish this one three point side doesn't shoot so bad. Grab this side. Dang. That side. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I got an eye guard. Dang, it sucks that shit off. So that's not a bad point. It's not a bad buck at all. Kind of cool. Wearing my last light mule deer shed shirt, finding mule deer sheds in the country. So we got a few more sheds to go pick up, so let's go do it. Okay, so we decided to come up here before we pick up that elk corn to see if this is a mule deer or coos deer shed that I had glassed up. Uh, it's a mule deer. Dang it. I was really hoping that was a coos deer buck. Just the way it's land, but a meal deer. I'm gonna have like in her and video me. Pick this up and then we're gonna go snag that elk shed. Actually, we'll probably get some pictures and then snag it, but here. That, buddy. Hi. And so, we just literally are on a hot streak at the moment. This little canyon's treating us, right? Yeah. Snag this guy. Oldie. It's got like a coos shape to it, kind of. I know, that's why I thought it was a coos. But okay, we'll get over there and go pick up that elk shed. Sweet, okay, I'm gonna snag this guy. Woo. This is my first elk shed I'm putting hands on this trip. It's not a bad bull. Dang, that's crazy. I can't believe how dark it is still. I can't tell if that's a brown. I'm pretty sure it's a hard white though. Yeah. It's crazy how dark it looks, guys, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's got cracks where it was in the sun, but that thing is still just beautiful brown looking. That is awesome. So we've got a couple more elk sheds, and I guarantee we find some more. So let's go get them. Okay, walking over to the one that kind of started this all off of the trip. It might be lower or higher. Where's she, where's she at? Oh, down there. Right down there. We we'll walk down. And Dude, that is so ancient. This is an ancient elk shed, guys. That kind of sucks. I'm glad I wasn't banking on just that shed today. I don't even know what's going on there. That's kind of a cool point. I've never seen one there. Ancient shed. And it's going to break in half. That one's not coming out. I'm so glad I found that hard white. Well, there it stays. 
We made it over to Lake and Shannon. It was a heck of a hike and it's an old chalk piece of crap. That's so unfortunate. That sucks. That's definitely not making it out here. Oh. I don't want to carry it through what we just went through. Yeah. But I am going to set it up so someone else has it. Down, having a sit down. Lake and looks over. There's a set of side by side deer horns right here. That's crazy. And I think it's. Pretty old. Yeah, it's got a double eye guard. That's kind of cool. Hold on, let me get around here before we pick them up. Should I take a picture of them? If you want it. One, two, not a bad buck. Heck yeah, we've been lucky with the deer horns, not the elk horns, which sucks. We want elk, but we'll take the deer. So we're gonna walk and get out of camp, get camp packed up and head to the truck tonight. And I just walked up, literally had to walk right on that sucker. Looks like a sweet little seven point elk horn. Lincoln's gonna help me pick it up and then we'll keep hiking. Get this boy picked up. This is awesome. So good. I have another shad. This one hasn't even been touched by squirrels, too. Oh, that yeah. thing's goofy. Yeah, he is. It's got a turn down front. Nice little set. It's like bladed at the back, too. That's yeah. cool. Cool. Got a turn down front. Hard That's sweet. Hard That's white. awesome. Maybe even older than that. Three years. It's just been shaded real well but I will happily take that out let's go that's exciting hey guys I just found a coos deer deadhead Lincoln's gonna video me picking this up we're trying to make leeway down to the truck but I don't think this is a bad coos deer at all definitely not it's kind of cool look at the front of that right horn right here yeah yeah Got a hole not a bad buck let me get him in the sun not a bad buck at all, huh? Not too shabby. He's got a million ants on him. Sweet. How do you think he might stay or come? Okay, this is what we're coming out of the back country with. Not a bad haul, especially given our situation. Decent couple sheds. Grab your set. And show us off your finds. Boom. Cool set of deer sheds. Cool deer shed. Side by side set. I picked up a side by side set in a long time. Uh, this guy might have glassed up his other side today. Oh I'm yeah. Go get it. Never went and got her. Kind of in a weird spot, so we didn't want to walk down in there. And we're trying to get out of here tonight, so. That's it for me. And I guess I had the other one that we brought up but didn't go get. Let's see. Okay, and then I've got this set that I glassed. Just some, it's actually not a bad buck at all. Yeah, it's not. I don't even know. Do you think that's even. Yeah. No. It's got to be there. They're so close yeah. together. Sweet buck. They just look different. And then we've been contemplating if this is a set or not. They're kind of far away. From each can't other. Can't tell where that dip is, but I'm gonna show them like a set. I'm not saying they are. Found these two hard whiteies. This one's cool. He's got some good genetics. Weak third. Hard white, and they may look brown in this video, but I promise, guys, they're hard white. There. Weird, but goofy bulls. It felt good to get some. So we have a good pile of horns. Hopefully tomorrow we can go find a few. So we're gonna get packed, camp cleaned up, and out of here. Thank you. 
Like headlamp headed out with some full pack heck yeah this thing's getting us nice and bright and this is on the low setting to save some battery but i'm excited i love this light go all right send it oh boy You're gonna make it. Got a boy. Upstream he goes. He's freaking sending it. At least I have a good way to get up now. I know what way not to go. Success. Hey, sir. <laughs> Made it back in like an hour and a half, probably. It's 8:19. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's 8:19, so we made it back in like an hour and what? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Best part about it, right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so clutch. And we have access to all of our freaking gear. I'm so jacked. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Martin, for being willing to drive down here. And thank you, Wes, for hooking us up with Martin. Thank you all. It means more than anything you know. I just had a, I'm gonna shower in the river, but I just had an awesome surprise for my dad. Thank you, Dad. I got a victory snack right here, two Powerades, and some nacho cheese. Oh, he's a G. Thank you, Billy. Love you. I can imagine, dude. I'm getting cold and I'm not even in the water. Hurry up. It's starting to rain a little. <laughs> Dipping in the water, dude. Okay. Ready? Ready, set, go. Oh my gosh. Do it again. You're not gonna be unsoaped if you don't do it again. Uh oh, he's going from the back too. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Hey, <laughs> okay. we're out here. We're in a completely different spot, about five hours away from where we were this morning. Where we woke up, we woke up to a whole bunch of snow. That kind of sucks. Um, we're in a spot that looks to be pretty popular, but we might go snag a horn. So my goal for the rest of the day in this trip is one more horn. I want one brown. He wants a brown. I don't care so. if it's a deer, elk. Oh, let's go see what we have. This trip's been nightmarish and not the best for circumstances, but we've had fun and we're gonna go find a horn. So I'll see you back here with a horn or at the truck. Hey guys, I just wanna jump on here, kind of give update of everything that happened. Cause when I le we left the truck, it kind of didn't all make sense. But we did get out last night, backpacked. You saw all that stuff. Backpacked out, um, we drove, it started snowing last night and it didn't stop until this morning. So there was a bunch of snow and a lot of the stuff we wanted to go in. Um, so we ended up just driving until we didn't find snow. This looked like a pretty good spot. Um, there are tracks here, deer and elk. Right there we got a deer track from about the time they would have been shedding. Rubs, elk tracks, I just think this I mean, it's very open here, uh, pretty close to some good country that I think a lot of people hit. And like I said, it's just open like that. You can kind of see everything. So I don't know how well or how hard or easy it is. Cause I imagine during the hunts too, there's a lot of people walk this stuff, 
But anyway, so we drove a couple hours until we got here where there's not as much snow. Um, Should have took a video this morning, but it was a, we ended up sleeping in the seats of my truck. Just turning on the truck every few hours to keep us warm. So a low sleep, but I feel like the spirits have kind of been low this time just to due to a rough start, but it's been a fun trip. Had a good time. We did pick up some horns. I just wish some things would have went different. I would have been smarter and but that being said we did have a good time we found some sheds we got a good experience out of it and we got a ton of stuff coming down the pipe the opener i'm super excited for it's gonna be a good time i know that for sure lots of horns picked up there um so that'll be exciting when that comes happening and probably by the time this video is out it'll be close uh and then we are we got a one trip that I'm pretty excited. I'll kind of give some more hints probably around the Nevada stuff. Might hit Utah a couple more times before Nevada, one or two at least. Um, but yeah, just want to get on. Super had a good time. Thankful for the people in life. Oh, there's out crap too. Just a little, I don't know. People hit this that well, but super fun time super grateful and thankful for the people in our lives that were able to maybe help us out a little bit throughout this putting time out of their day to um, help us so thank you to all them big thanks to my dad for driving those keys or we'd still be there um, but yeah I don't know I don't know about this spot it just feels like it might get pounded really hard and we are Making our way back to the truck to drive home. We still got about a four or five hour drive um, Be nice to get back And yeah, so I'll see you guys either with a horner at the truck I heard from like and he doesn't have anything that I know of From like 20 30 minutes ago So I'm just gonna slowly make our way back to the truck head back, but thank you guys for staying Continuously watching and we'll get back to the truck do a little Video I'll show you kind of what we have. It's about the same as you saw the coos deer, the elk, and the mule deer. But we'll still go throw everything together. And just excited for the rest of this year, what we got to bring you. So, okay. see you then. this is what we're ending with after a, a decent trip. We had fun. Like I said, we had fun. So, show us your elk horn. Boom, baby. Nice little elk horn. A couple of years old. Couple years old. Deer set. This side by side deer set. And Pretty a dope. We left behind. Yeah, we left a ton behind. And then for me, honestly, probably my favorite. We were lucky enough to pick out the skews. We just cut the horns off because the head was stinky. That's cool. Cool little find. Nice bug. These two sheds. This guy, it's a nice little seven. Bad shot. And this guy is that dark still. Pretty cool bull. Nothing special this trip, but we also had lots of setbacks. We had fun. It was worth it. But thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, and we have a lot more content coming your way. Pink.